Um, hello, everyone. Good morning to all of you, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you are having a great time at the conference from yesterday onwards. And had a, just had a good uh, refreshing break, I guess. People are still coming in. Um, so um, yeah, let's start. Um, well, surprise, you guys have already seen our platform in action. For those of you who are, who are at the conference from the beginning yesterday, uh, we've had a sensor running throughout the day for, for all the four keynotes um, with all those cool emojis. And uh, well, there was another sensor uh, running for the panel discussion at the end of the day yesterday for all of your questions came in through uh, our sensor. So you've guys, you guys have seen the platform in action. So looks so simple, right? What do you think? Right. Yeah, so let's, uh, let's, let's look at the complexities behind it, uh, where how WSO2 ha has helped us uh, uh, bring that complexity to, so, uh, uh, to, to a simple uh, solution. So um, uh, this will be a joint presentation. So I'm Lahiru and uh, with my colleague uh, Andun, we'll, uh, we'll begin uh, with a quick intro uh, introduction of uh, Imovis uh, solution. We are, we are a bold uh, new entry into the space of uh, experience management. Um, uh, we, uh, the, the company is, uh, the, the solution is powered by Imojot, uh, a company headquartered in Silicon Valley. We have offices in Sri Lanka, Australia, and New Zealand. Um, so we built uh, we, we, are, we, we build on our values, core values of, of the word RICE, R I. SE, which stands for respect, innovation, simplicity, which we already brought to you yesterday, and uh, efficiency. So this is, the company was founded by these four uh, dynamic individuals, Shahani, Manjula, Andun, and Sachinta over there. So uh, these dynamic individuals accrue five decades of uh, industry experience of startup uh, companies, technology, innovation, government, and research institutions. So quickly moving on, uh, what is Imovis? already seen it. So we revolutionize, redefine the experience management uh, space. Um, so we have uh, a range of uh, voice of experience uh, solutions. What you are seeing uh, already here at this event is the VOA, voice of audience uh, part of it. So we have voice of uh, employee, VOE engagement, um, voice of uh, customer, um, a voice of students, for uh, universities um, and colleges, um, voice of patients, voice of dealers, right? I'll take you through uh, some of our business scenarios in a later slide. Um, so, well, this is very um, simple, but yet complex, right? You need uh, a bit of, uh, you need a bit of complexity behind the scenes to bring, bring you simplicity. Um, quickly, uh, how, are, how we are different, what's our differentiation, what's our value proposition. Um, I'll, I won't be going through all of them, but I'll be um, running through quickly about some of our uh, few, few uh, value pro proposition, journey-based personalization. Now, this, this age of uh, smart devices, right? Um, how many of you would like to uh, fill up a, a text-based survey on your smart device? Right? No one. Exactly. So that's, that's what we do. Right? So uh, with the cool emojis, uh, with the visual cues, the emotions, and the feelings part of it, that's where we tap into uh, of users, emotional engagement. Um, let's say uh, you go to a restaurant with your friend, and, and you, have, you have visited this restaurant before, and this is your second time. The set of questions that is coming to you on our sensor is different than the first time visit of, of, of your friend who's getting a set, different set of questions. So that's what I mean by journey-based personalization. We track the uh, emoting journey, the user journey of, of, of the respondent. Um, another scenario, how many of you like a 10% bill wipe out of your purchase? It's possible, gamification and the raffle, right? We all love it. So, um, well, uh, in this age, so if, you know, we need to be val validating um, fake feedback. We do that with uh, blockchain technology. Proof of emote is what I'm talking there. Um, a, key, um, a key feature which is very useful for our enterprise uh, clients, um, custom, business, cu uh, custom business hierarchy based analytic views. So we, we, we do uh, work with large corporates, large conglomerates around the country, around the globe. So this uh, 
these many companies have different offices in different locations, different departments, business units. So we do need to drill down and filter into individual um, uh, lower levels and compare analytics uh, with different departments, different, different locations. These are practical scenarios. So this is very possible if we map out all of that business hierarchy. We call it IMO signature, the business hierarchy. And that's what I mean by custom business hierarchy analytic views. Uh, the comparison happens between offices, the factories, the plants, uh, the business units. And, and our customers really find efficiencies and provide solutions. They, they find uh, problems in, in uh, the current way of uh, uh, processes. And through a, a myriad of analytics. When I say analytics, it's about 80 plus different types of analytics. And we have uh, nine patents pending claiming for one, claiming 120. Um, uh, so um, that's, that's all about the Imovi's uh, value proposition. Quickly uh, taking you through some, some of the business scenarios. Oops, right. So um, largest automaker in the US, Fiat Chrysler Automobiles, FCA, uh, uses us to increase engagement with their uh, uh, myriad of uh, dealerships across the country, uh, thousands. Uh, so the, uh, their engagement rates have been increased 10 times uh, compared to their previous uh, solution. In, here in Sri Lanka, we empower the voice of uh, blue collar workers with Brandix. Um, many factories across the country. Uh, we, we use the uh, engagement platform very efficiently and uh, uh, while the, uh, the factory workers are in their production line, uh, triggering top of the mind emotions, top of the mind responses, it just takes seconds, right? Not disturbing their work schedule, which is very important to the business. Well, same with Tesla Solar Australia. Tesla is uh, you know, uh, doing their solar energy um, initiatives in Australia, uh, reaching out uh, dynamically to their customers. So you see, all of this is very simple but complex. So let's unpack and unwrap this complexity behind it, where WSO2 helps us <coughs> to do a tremendous job. And I'll pass it to Andur. So uh, hi, everyone. So uh, Lahiru has uh, worked you through the uh, little bit of business aspects of the platform which we, are, we have implemented. So in that one, uh, what I am going to do is uh, taking you through some of the uh, specific and generic uh, engineering, I mean technical requirements of the platform which uh, WSO2 help us to grow. So in this here, my objective is how we use the WSO2 solution stack to solve uh, some of our platform requirements easily and a very quick <coughs> manner with a comprehensive uh, set of functionalities. So, uh, so uh, our platform is uh, a cloud platform uh, and uh, users uh, are using the platform uh, by getting subscriptions from our side. So these subscriptions have uh, their account, a tenant, so inside this tenant, they do uh, various uh, functions related to emotion analysis. So the emotion analysis functionalities are decided on the subscription they get. Uh, also, uh, our platform uh, is a platform which closely works with many enterprise systems. So our platform mainly focuses to integrate with different, different enterprise systems because we focus on capturing emotions in the enterprise. Uh, also, uh, in our platform, there are a lot of components inside. So those components uh, perform a separate set of tasks. So those tasks are independent of one another in a, some, into some extent. So those are aligned in a way uh, of microservices. And uh, we have exposed a lot of APIs for the enterprise to use our capabilities. Uh, so let's look at the platform in a way uh, of functionalities. So in our platform, there are three major types of functionalities. Those are the emotion capturing uh, functionalities, analysis plat uh, functionalities, and engagement uh, functionalities. Those are the three major areas of our platform. So for capturing, we have direct service, which you are currently using to give the feedback for WC2Con. Uh, and there are API-based emotion capturing mechanisms. 
and there are data extract, uh, extraction mechanisms like uh, social media scraping, uh, other sensor data uh, mapping kind of tasks. There are components to do that. And uh, there is a personalization part which uh, look into the data captured by those capturing mechanisms and it try to adapt the platform based uh, on the user and its emotions and different contextual information. And there is a uh, generic analytic component which run a lot of analytics on the captured data. The engagement part is the part which uh, interact with the actual users of the platform based on uh, the decisions taken by the analysis and the personalization. So let's look at the platform in a Uh, much component-based way. So this is the component-based architecture of our platform. Uh, there are, as I said, uh, there are different different components which do specific specific tasks. So in our platform, we have a user manager which look after the uh, security and identity management capabilities of the platform. There is mobile service which uh, focuses on mobile devices and uh, mobile-related devices, and web service which are focusing on the uh, web space of surveying. Uh, and there are data processor and the analyzer which uh, captures the data through APIs and which do the analytic part. Uh, and there is a visualization component. And <coughs> there is a personalization engine which do the machine learning and AI part of the platform which uh, on top of the data captured by the capturing mechanisms. And uh, there is a significant component for do stream processing because we try to uh, do some analytics and uh, do some things on the real time. Uh, that is very necessary uh, business requirement for the enterprise. So to do that, we have a stream, a stream processing component, and we have a communication component uh, which uh, needed to uh, interact with the uh, third-party services we use uh, for our implementing our features. So all these things uh, have different different APIs and capabilities. Uh, we use a API gateway style to expose these capabilities to internal as well as the external parties of the platform. So uh, next, I will walk through uh, major components we use the WS2 stack to get its uh, functionality quickly and uh, solidly. So uh, one is the user manager component. In our platform, it is mainly working with enterprise. So en enterprise get uh, subscriptions in our platform, <coughs> and uh, we have to give a lot of capabilities to different different users of this enterprise. So we have to manage their uh, authentication mechanisms, we have to extract the authorization info about the users of that account, and we have to, in our platform, there are many apps which the users can use, uh, so we have to share the authorization info between the apps, and uh, also, uh, there are API-based access to the platform, we have to govern that uh, based on the identity information provided by that enterprise. So, uh, WSO Identity Server help us to uh, do that, uh, do that, uh, that task is easily. Also, the WS2 API manager plays a major role to, uh, with the uh, identity server to uh, ha maintain the governance of the API invocation. So in that one, this is a small architecture of our component. We have our user stores. We have our uh, authentication mechanisms. We have some uh, already connected IDPs. And uh, the uh, ID uh, API manager also communicates with the identity server to extract some of the user-related info. And uh, this component mainly working uh, on top of SAML assertions, uh, OAuth tokens, and JWT tokens. Uh, our, most of the, our components are uh, stateless uh, components. So these uh, tokens and the assertions help us to maintain the state and uh, enforce the security in, uh, inside the platform. So. So the next uh, major component of the platform is the API gateway, which we uh, expose different different API sets. So in our platform, internally, we have a lot of APIs. Uh, but uh, some are uh, exposed to the public to utilize in their enterprise systems to do integrations and uh, create their own apps. Uh, so uh, we use our API gateway, I name it as API gateway, to expose some of the services, enforce the security, uh, do some monitoring, billing, and likewise uh, 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 to expose some of the APIs in a governed way. I mean, uh, limit the APIs, so uh, customize the API 
publishing and giving a portal to the users to read about the, our APIs and consume them. So to do that, uh, we use the We use the uh, WSC2 API Manager cluster to do that task. In uh, the API Manager cluster, we have a gateway cluster which do the API routing to our internal apps uh, and uh, a developer portal to configure and uh, uh, expose the APIs. Uh, API store which is exposing uh, our internal APIs to the, our users and a traffic manager and a key manager. So also uh, inside our platform, there are different types of services and it, API Manager helps us to convert and expose this uh, API as a unified API and a comprehensive API to the public. Also, uh, we in uh, our sign-up process, there is an automatic sign-up to the API and there are token generation and likewise. There are different logic. All these are done through the capabilities of the API Manager. So one of the interesting feature for our most interesting feature for our users is uh, the real time analytical capability of our platform. So in our platform, we uh, from different different sources we capture different type of data. Uh, those uh, data come into the platform as a stream, say uh, direct emotions uh, and uh, different contextual information about that em uh, emotion. Say what is the temperature of this room? Can be a uh, related uh, information for the emotion of you guys are having right now. Or likewise, we try to capture those kind of information into the platform. And uh, our surveys and analytics uh, try to analyze uh, this uh, information and try to derive uh, information for the enterprise, uh, useful information for the enterprise. So to do that, uh, we need to do data, uh, holding data in uh, queues and uh, look into the data as windows and we have to do some uh, conversion on the data. So to do that, uh, we use the capabilities of uh, WSO2 complex event processor. We are in the complex event processor right now. Uh, so as I said, uh, we are uh, pumping in uh, direct emotion stream into the CP and uh, indirect emotion streams which are uh, more of a contextual information from the uh, em place we capture emotions. So there is a layer which do uh, analytical querying from the CEP that uh, is a domain specific uh, querying capability uh, and uh, our platform maps that querying capability into a uh, WSO2 CD query. And uh, there is a configurator for the CEP which connects our platform with the CEP and try to do uh, set up the uh, sequences and uh, uh, inflows and outflows. And there are some output supporters which supports uh, API invocation uh, SMS email triggering, uh, direct notification push for different different users. So uh, these are the three major components which we use the WSO2 uh, stack uh, to implement our platform. So I must highlight that uh, we are operating in a different domain and we have a lot of our R&D uh, tasks and requirements. So these, some of, most of these requirements are very uh, much related to the integration space and uh, those requirements are already built in the WSO2 platform in a solid way. So we had uh, the great opportunity because of the plat stack was there. So we can easily uh, and quickly configure those things to set up our platform. And we can focus on our algorithms, our statistics, uh, and our analytics. So this is running the system. And on, the, on top of the, of the system, we capture data. And we focus on the data much. So that is the ma key major thing because we use WS2 tool as Sanju said yesterday, we are using this software to create our own software easily. So I'll hand over to Lahir. Right. Yes, so um, a quick snapshot of our engineering roadmap. Um, so um, we use technologies uh, such as blockchain, AI, um, uh, score, uh, scoring mechanism for uh, emotions, things like that. So I'd like to comment on the patentable, the yellow uh, the, uh, the, um, uh, boxes there. So um, we, we'd like to, as I said earlier about the uh, p uh, pending patents, so we'd like to make it double digit uh, for our patent count by the uh, early, Jan early next year, January, with validated reviews and visual engagement designer. Um, so all of this, um, is, is really possible with the WSO2 component uh, stack, as we said. And I'd like to uh, take this uh, opportunity to thank 
the WSO2 folks for the excellent support given uh, to make us uh, into this level. Uh, so like I said earlier, so, so many uh, businesses, many organizations are working with us, uh, universities, uh, 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 conglomerates, um, uh, media institutions, likewise. So uh, capsulating uh, complexity into simplicity, I'd like to, uh, uh, now that you have uh, seen uh, uh, and um, we have unpacked the complexity, uh, I'd like to end uh, uh, with a note uh, where Hasmin started the day yesterday. All of this uh, was possible in just two days, right? We talked about on Friday evening about the uh, WSO2 uh, requirement for this uh, event, and then uh, with the simplicity and the complexity, we built, a, uh, built in, a, a blended together. So uh, you are experiencing right now our platform uh, today at your fingertips using cool emojis uh, and emotion sensors. So, like Vichitra earlier said, wso2con.com slash engage is that feedback mechanism uh, given to you right at your fingertips. Um, thank you very much. Yes.